Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial. Now this one's a little bit special as it's almost a full featured app and I'll be showing you how to create a basic calculator which can do the simple tasks of plusing, minusing, multiplying and dividing. Now just before I start the tutorial I'd just like to point out that I'll be working at a faster rate just so I can fit this whole tutorial into one video. So already I have my project set up. I've named it Calc and it's a view based application for the iPhone. Now if you haven't noticed already, this is the new Xcode 4 and it is available to download from the App Store or from the Dev Center. So straight away I'll go into our viewcontroller.h where I'll add our outlet ints and floats. So I'll zoom in so you can all see. So the first thing we're going to do is add in our float, float space result, and end that with a semicolon, press enter. Now our IB outlet, IB outlet space UI label, space asterisk star calculator screen. And make sure you have a capital on the S. And now a semicolon. Press enter. Let me add our int. So type in int space current capital operation. And that with a semicolon. Press enter. And our final float space current capital N number. And that with a semicolon. And then we can go straight down and add our action buttons. There's three in total, I mean four in total, sorry. The dash, IB action, action, bracket. First one will be button, capital digit, capital pressed, dot, bracket, ID, bracket, sender, and that with semicolon. And to save time, you can copy this, paste it, and change it from button digit pressed to button operation pressed. Nice and simple. Then here, dash bracket IV action again, bracket cancel capital, um, capital I input and that with a semicolon and then exactly the same again you can copy this one just to save time paste it in instead of cancel input it will be cancel operation okay so you can simply save that if you want to pause it now if you want to catch up on the decoding you can now zoom out and straight away we can go into our view controller dot m I'll zoom in so we can all see and we'll start with the first action button, which is button digit pressed. So we type in dash bracket IB action bracket button digit pressed ID sender space curly bracket and press enter. And then we type in current number space equals space current number again space asterisk star number 10 space plus space bracket float bracket bracket sender space tag bracket same and that semicolon press enter and type in calculator screen dot text space equals space equals mean blah, blah. space bracket capital NS string space then we want to get the string with format and in the highlighted section we type in the at symbol quotation mark percentage sign number two letter F quotation mark comma current number 
and that red bracket and a semicolon. And that's all that's needed there for the first action button. Now we do the second action button. So we type in IB action bracket. And the second one is button operation pressed. Operation pressed there, ID sender. Space curly bracket. Enter. Now we start with this one. So I can if bracket current number. Oh, current operation, sorry. Current operation space equals equals zero bracket result space equals the current number. There we go. And that reads semicolon. Type and that. Press enter. Else <coughs> bracket enter switch. And we want the switch statement here. And in the first highlighted section, we type in current operation. And in, in the case here, in the constant, we need number one and then two dots. There we go. And in the statement here, we want result space equals space result space plus space current number and, and that in semicolon. Then we want to highlight this break in default at the end and get rid of that. Then highlight from this break all the way up to the case one, copy it, press enter, paste it so you've got five of them. And then we want to change each number so it goes up, so that'll be number two, number three, number four, and number five. And then we want to change this, the second case, to this will be our taken away, as the first one's the plus. This one will be our times in, multiplying, so you put an asterisk star. This will be our divide, so you put a forward slash. And then this one, we want to get rid of the whole thing and type in current operation. Space equals space number zero. Make sure it's got a curly back, um, semicolon at the end, sorry. And then go down and make sure it has three brackets at this point here. And then just after the second bracket, we point enter and type current number space equals space zero. And that erase semicolon. Press enter, then we type in calculator screen dot text space equals space bracket capital NS string then string with format again and in the highlighted section we type in the at symbol quotation mark and again percentage to F another quotation mark comma result and it a bracket and a semicolon, press enter, then type in if bracket and again another bracket sender tag bracket space equals equals zero bracket result equals zero and have a semicolon, press enter current operation space equals space sender tag bracket and finish that with a semicolon I'll just zoom out now so if you want to catch up on a little bit of coding so I'll just make this bigger so at this point if you want to Let's pause the video and catch up on any code in here. But now I'll just zoom out again. And then just after the semicolon on that, press enter a couple of times. And now we add our cancel input and our cancel operation buttons. So we start with dash bracket IB action. Bracket cancel. 
input, space, curly bracket, enter, current number equals zero, and that is a semicolon. Press enter, then calculate a screen dot text space equals space the at symbol quotation mark zero another quotation mark and that rest semicolon and then that's all it's needed for that action button and after that dash bracket IB action and this is our cancel operation button so we type in cancel operation space curly bracket enter and type in current number space equals space zero and that with a semicolon press enter and we type in calculator screen dot text space equals space the at symbol quotation mark zero quotation mark and that with a semicolon press enter and current operation space equals space zero and then that with a semicolon and we can save that and then that's all the action button and all the coding that is needed so we can zoom out you'll want to pause it now and catch up on any coding but I'll just zoom out now and then we can go straight into our view controller.nib where this will be the most trickiest part to making the calculator it's a bit hard to understand but I'll talk you through this one way better than what we've just been doing in the other one. So if you've got new Xcode 4, just to get up all the action buttons and stuff like that, just click on the square at the top here with the grey shaded rectangle on the right. That'll bring up all the objects and all stuff. So now we're going to want to add in our round rec buttons. And we're going to need five lines of four. So if I just make this a decent button size, put that there. I'll copy that. So we just do four lines. Let's get these quite set out quite nicely. And equally spaced, it might take some time, but it does save a lot of hassle. Now I'll just center this now. So we're gonna want four lines of them, no five lines, sorry. So you put them there, and I copy them, paste them, so there's four lines all together already, let's copy one more line, so it's just like that. Now what you want to do is the first one here, just delete that, and then the second one, drag that over, so it forms there, that will be our AC button. Then the bottom one here, let's get rid of that and drag this down there. That will be our plus button, nice and big. And get rid of that. And this will, final one here, drag this across, that will be our zero button. And then now we're going to want to add it in one, two, nine. So this could be number one, number two, number three, number four. Number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, and finally zero. This one here will be our equals. This one our plus. This one our takeaway. This will be our times. This one we are divide. This will be our cancel, and this will be our, we want to cancel the whole thing all together. So you want to pause it there and just catch up on that there. But now I'll add another label. This will be the um, calculator screen. I might drag it all the way across and just put up a bit more. Change it from the word label to number zero. Okay then, so this is the trickiest part now. I'll just drag this down a little bit. If you click on the number one button here and scroll down to find 
the tag here, you're going to want to, put, to pull it to tag number one, the number two, pull it to tag number two, and so on, all the way up to number nine. So this will automatically identify which number is when you're pressing it. That's why the coding was so simple when we was doing it. It's number seven to seven, eight to eight, number nine to number nine. Zero can stay at zero, and the equals will stay at zero, but the plus will be number one. The takeaway will be number two. The times will be number three. I'll explain why I'm putting numbers on these ones as well in a moment. And the divide will be number four. And the two kinds of buttons, then tags can stay at zero as well. Now if, I'll explain why I did that now. Just click on files owner. And if we go to our connections, you'll see we have four actions. Um, we've got so many buttons all together here, but we only got four actions. But I'll show you why now. So first I'll drag the computer sc um, calculator screen to the label. Now the button digit pressed will be all the numbers, so we'll just simply drag them to number one, touch down, and again, click on it again and drag it to number two. Because we added in our tags, it automatically identifies which button is which. So we can carry on dragging to number three. Now the button digit pressed will go to all the numbers. So again, it will take about a minute to get them all done. I'm just doing touch down where it's quicker for me to click on. Touch down. Number seven, touch down. Eight, touch down. Almost at the end there. Nine, touch down. And the last number, zero, touch down. And again, because it's got the um, tags in there, it knows which is which. So now if you go scroll down to button operation pressed, which is the equals, plus, takeaway, times, and m multiply. We just drag there, touch down again to the equals, and again do exactly the same like you do with the numbers. And if you remember when we was coding, we was typing in the cases, like case one, case two, case three. Well, this automatically identifies it here on these ones. So on the times now, touch down, and finally divide, touch down. Let me multiply. Sorry, I mean divide. I know what I'm talking about. A cancel input will be the C button here. And cancel operation is the AC. So that's all the connections there added. And if you want to go back and go over it again, just so you've caught up on this one as well. So now we can save that and we can go straight away to build and run. There's no problems as the coding is perfect as usual in my tutorials. So we just wait for the iPhone simulator to all load up. And there we go, a very professional and very basic looking calculator. Now just to test it works, we'll type in one plus one, and obviously that will equal two. There we go. We can automatically cancel that. Now we do something complex like 10 times five, and we all know the answer to that will be 50. So there we have it, a basic calculator. You could create one yourself and add some cool themes and upload it to the App Store straight away. It's a perfect ready-made app there. I hope this helps you with your apps or projects you've got going at the moment. Send me a message or leave me a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or you want to leave me some feedback on how I can improve my tutorials. Make sure you like and favourite the video so you go for future reference. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. All the links will be in the description as well as the links to my applications which are currently on the App Store, make sure you go check them out. But for now, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next Tuesday in the next tutorial.